What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this beautiful Thursday. I'm doing real good myself. Uh, I come across this particular story right here and to me it pretty much confirms that the police here in this country has a lot to do with the disappearances of that of black men, women, and children. You understand? You know, what I'm trying to say is that, okay, the more a crook does something, the more arrogant and flamboyant he gets about doing it. He does it more and more. And so much to the point to where they get sloppy. They, they don't care about basically uh, covering up, you know, the crimes that they're doing. OK. And the reason why I say that is because in this particular story. It says family wants answers after Christina Nance, 29, found dead in Alabama police van. That's right. I said police van. This woman was found dead. OK. She had been missing. For two weeks. And all of a sudden, she turns up in a Huntsville Police Department van. Okay? Now, there, the, the story has said that, um, there's other stories that said that, uh, an autopsy was performed on this woman, and, of course, they say there was no foul play. Okay? Or anything like that. I beg to differ. Just under the circumstances alone, and being that she was found in a police van, proves to me that there had to be some kind of foul play, okay? So, before, you know, I get into the story, I would like to say condolences to uh, the family, and I hope that you guys get to the bottom of this and the truth, and wh wh whoever the police, the crook that's wearing a badge did this or crooks is wearing a badge because it could have been more than one police officer. You understand? You get to the bottom is and you get justice. Okay. Cause, uh, and also get a independent autopsy. Okay. Because from what I've seen in a lot of these mysterious cases of people, found hanging and, and, and what have you. Well, the coroner tends to comply with that of the criminal structure. You know what I'm saying? They will comply and be complicit and back up the claims of what the police are saying. Okay? That's just what it is. There have been a few cases to where they will find some black men hang, you know, hanging somewhere with their hands tied in front of them. And then the coroner or whoever will say there, <laughs> there was no size of foul play and write it off as a suicide. Who does that? How can you hang yourself with your hands bound? Okay. Shit like that, you know. So... Let's get into this particular story, okay? Uh, Nancy's uh, grieving relatives want Huntsville police to release surveillance footage from their parking lot cameras. The family of a young woman in Alabama who was found dead one week ago in an old unused police van outside the Huntsville Police Department is demanding answers, okay? Christina Nance Grieving Ken is asking the police department to release surveillance footage from the cameras mounted in the parking lot. Her sister, Latasha Nance, told WHNT that police officials told the family they weren't sure how far back the cameras captured footage went. Additionally, uh, the news outlet said its reporters had not heard back from the department regarding the footage. See, we already getting the bullshit right here. You already getting the bullshit because let me tell you this. Had 
Let's say, for example, some vandals jumped the fence and tore up a bunch of fucking police vans. You understand what I'm saying? Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, set, set shit on fire. You can trust and believe that they will have that footage, even if it was shit a year ago. So I don't even want to hear that shit. Now, this is the beautiful sister right here, you know, the victim, um, Christina Nance, that was found in this police van. You know, right there in a police van. There's no doubt to me that some police officer or officers had something to do with this woman's demise. And that's just all there is to it. See, so uh, it says what we just read anyway. Um, you know, the, the grieving family of Christina Nance, 29 above, who was found dead one week ago, in an old, unused police van outside Huntville, uh, police department is demanding answers, you know, and uh, there's a GoFundMe, you know, set up as well, you know. That's, that's, it's fucked up, man. But, you know, I'm going to say this to, to the bereaving family, you know. In the most eyes, I mean, the most high's eyes, okay. There is no unsolved mysteries. You can trust and believe he knows who did this shit, shit and they will be brought to justice. They will be brought to justice. You can rest assured of that. Okay. Um, rather it be on this side or the next side. You can rest assured when this, whoever these, the, the, the co-conspirators that has something to do with the, the, the death of this woman, they will be brought to justice. You know? Now, let's continue. Uh, the Nance family also says they have not been told how long the 29-year-old woman's body's language uh, languished inside uh, the pol police department parking lot. On Monday, Latasha Nance said she last saw her sister two weeks before her body was discovered on October 7th. Um, the sister, um, excuse me, the sisters were in Latasha's car. I just looked back at her. The morning, Simblik said, and she was just smiling, and I said, Christina, why are you smiling like that? And she just said, oh, nothing. It's nothing. That's the last memory I have of my sister. A community protest is set for Friday in Huntsville at the Madison County Jail, okay? This is very sad, you know, but... You know, you uh, you got a bunch of fucking evil doers that likes, you know, to project evil and sadness on other people. But wait till their time comes around. And it is coming. You see, you get away with nothing. Okay. That's just what it is. Okay. Now, here it says here is a Kai L at um, It's Lit Gigi. 29-year-old Christina Nance was found dead in a Huntsville police van. Her family have zero answers as to how she got there. We just want justice. We want answers. And that's understandably so. All right? You know, a situation like this pop up out of nowhere, out of the blue. You know? Nah. This can't be swept under the, you know, under the uh, rug. Okay? It can't be. I would advise... Um, those of you that watch this video to help, help this family right here by sharing this video, you see what I'm saying? Help them because this word needs to get around because if, you know, um, a, 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 enough people is not talking about this right here and bringing it up and, and with the questions, this shit is going to fade into obscurity, you see? And, uh, this family won't get answers, okay? So share the video, right? Now to continue, in a GoFundMe.com uh, post, Whitney Nance, another sister of Christina, wrote that her dead sibling was very loved, a very good person, a funny and fun person to be around. If you knew her, you would have loved her spirit. She was very smart and loving, according to Newsweek. Whitney told a local outlet that Christina relatives do not believe that our sister would just randomly walk to a van and climb in, well, climb in it. 
First of all, why wasn't the van locked on police property? She also added that Christina had often visited the police department for help and had previously called family members to pick her up there. All right. Uh, police noted that she had been arrested for multiple nonviolent offenses over the past eight years. Huntsville police have said there is no signs of foul play in Christina Nance's death. However, her family said they don't know how she got into the van in the first place. See, I don't buy that. You know, as somebody she knew and as somebody, you know, at that damn police department, some law enforcement officer she knew and uh, may even had dealings with. You just never know. She may have had some dealings with and, uh, hey, maybe she threatened to tell or whatever, go public, and then here you get this, this craziness right here. I don't know. That's just me speculating, you know? But I digress. To continue at a news conference Sunday, they made clear they won't stop searching for the truth. The family successfully raised just over uh, the $1,700 uh, dollar their online fundraiser sought. Um, we really don't know how our relative's body was found inside a police van on police property. And we need some justice. Frank Matthews, a cousin of Nancy's, said Sunday. We need some clarity and Christina cannot speak for herself. An autopsy will be performed to determine the cause of death, Christi cause of Christina's death. Her family contends that depending on the results, they may consider conducting an autopsy of their own. Yes, because I've read in, um, you know, uh, other little outlets, you know, news venues on this story right here. That they didn't find no foul play was involved in it. So yeah, you got to do get an independent autopsy to uh, look into this a little bit deeper. All right, let's check out this video. It's about a minute and nine seconds and see what the family has to say for themselves. Identifying themselves as the family of a person found dead inside an old Huntsville police van parked at the public safety complex is asking for more answers tonight. Family members say their loved one, 29-year-old Christina Nance, was found in that van. They are pleading for answers about the circumstances surrounding the situation and asking that an autopsy be conducted as part of the investigation into her death. We really don't know how our relative's body was found inside a police van on police property. And, um, we need some justice, we need some clarity, and Christina cannot speak for herself. So today we have about 10 to 15 voices that's echoing for her. As of yet, HPD has released few details about what happened and have not identified the person found inside the van. Investigators confirmed to News 19 that the person was not an inmate and they do not know how that person got into the van. They also said they do not believe there was any foul play involved. This story, this whole entire situation is cloaked with lies and foul play as far as I'm concerned. Ain't nobody just crawling up in no damn van or police van and dying like that on police property. Okay? Like I said before, help this family out by sharing this video. We need to get this discussed, you know, among the people. You know, we need to get this uh, discussed, man. You know, because uh, like I say, if you don't get this out to the public, they'll sweep this shit under the rug. You understand? And nothing will ever become of it. All right. At least on this side. But y'all tell me what y'all think about this story. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.